This training video explains how to find case law on West Law New Zealand using the basic and advanced search options available to you. We will cover how to find case law from the home page using the citation button. We will give you an introduction to the case law search template. We will cover how to use terms and connectors to create search strings and how to use specific fields to retrieve information. We will use examples to demonstrate, but the underlying technique of retrieving information will apply to all research contexts. Once you have logged into Westlaw New Zealand, you will find the basic search bar at the top of your home screen. By default, its search functionality is set to include all information you subscribe to, such as different case law databases, legislation and commentary, or even news articles. This can be good to use if you are unsure as to what information might be useful for you to search or if you suspect that your search query is very particular and might not return many hits. Your results will generally be broader and you can choose to refine and filter your results once you have retrieved them. You can also use the basic search bar to quickly retrieve a case by its citation or court file number. Simply set the functionality to citation using the radio buttons underneath the search field. Then enter your citation or court file number, excluding any hyphens or brackets. Then click search. This will lead you straight to the case in question. Sometimes you might need to be quite specific to find the information you need within the vast amount of case law available, and for this research the best option is to use a specific search template just for case law. This is located at the left hand side of your screen, straight from the home page. Simply click Cases to enter the search screen. By default, your search will include all case law databases available to you. Depending on the range of your subscription, you might want to narrow down the scope to only include certain databases. Click the plus signs next to product title, practice area or jurisdiction and place a tick into the box next to the area you want to search across. Leaving this step simply means that your search will include all case law available to you. Your options to retrieve case law are wide ranging. This video will only touch on the most used fields available to you, but you can learn more about how to use each field by hovering and clicking on the I button next to it. In the first field, you can choose to construct a search string using Boolean terms and connectors to define specific relations between words. If you are unsure about how to use terms and connectors, you can open a help box that holds all of the ones used on Westlaw New Zealand. Click Need Help? Hints and tips on advanced searching techniques. To open a help box, you can move it into position and scroll to see all of the terms and connectors used on Westlaw. For my example search, I am using the phrase and numerical connectors to make sure that the words holiday pay will be returned just in this order and to relate the word increase to them. This symbol states that the word increase needs to be a maximum of five words within the phrase holiday pay. You can also search for one or more party names using the third field from the top. You can specify a judge's name or the court where a case was heard. You can enter High Court, Supreme Court or Family Court etc or as certain court locations, such as High Court Auckland. You can look for cases that have referred to a specific act or part of an act using the legislation cited by title and provision fields. All you need to do is enter the name of an act 
and the number of a part or section if you wish, and then click search. You can be as specific as looking for words that have been judicially defined, such as the word fresh. If you want to clear your search template, simply click Clear to reset all fields. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Please also look into our other videos on other topics.